You're not really going to come in here and do the gritty, are you? I mean, come on, man. Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Shanahan was asked, what's going on with Elijah Mitchell? He's still not out there practicing. This is a quick clip. It's five seconds. Here you go, Kyle. Yeah, on schedule. You know, we won't get him this week, but things are looking to have him back for week one. We won't get him this week. Those numbers, you said 17 days. So that's a long time. That's two weeks and uh, two and a half weeks, just about. So that's that's a long time. I don't think Elijah Mitchell is going to be ready week one. I don't think so either. So here's my question. We do this every freaking week because it's just such a damn mystery. Let's just play hypotheticals. I think Elijah Mitchell is going to play week one. I think he's going to start week one. Okay. I have him in fantasy leagues. I'm going to be rolling with them. However, okay. let's just say something happens and he's not active. Who the hell is the starting running back for the 49ers week one if Elijah Mitchell for some reason can't go? Jordan Mason. That's who I want. <laughs> it won't be Jordan. It won't be. It won't uh, be. It'll probably be Trey Sermon. Gosh, man. <laughs> I, never, I didn't expect that reaction from you. <laughs> no, but seriously, it'll, it'll probably be Trey. And it, and it might be good because now he'll get the bulk of the carries. Listen, we've seen what he's like when he gets the bulk of the carries. He's terrible when he doesn't get the bulk of the carries. I I was doing my Patreon breakdowns this week. And somebody, <laughs> I think Eric commented on there. Uh, Eric, shout out to Eric. He said, you know, he's listened to every one of my breakdowns. He's a loyal supporter. Thank you for everything. He said it was the first time he's seen me mad. Is this was, ED, Eric Dane? I, I, uh, Eric M. I think my okay. okay. awesome guy. He's come to a lot of the road trips. He <laughs> said he commented, he's like, that's the first time I've seen you mad at somebody um during one of your breakdowns. I was pissed. I was pissed. There were so many plays. It was like five or six in a row where it was just like that dude wraps a blindfold on and just runs. I, I don't, just don't get it. I don't uh, I don't get it. You want to talk about whatever you said Trey Sermon, man. I, I just I don't know, man. It, it, would Ooh. you would you start TDP? But so, I, I'd be fine starting anybody, but Trey not named Trey Sermon. I'd start so, TDP. So Demi- Demi- I'd start Hasty, Hasty, Jeff Wilson. I start Jordan Mason. I start Kyle Uzcheck. I start Jason Poe. I start Jason Poe too. I'm Anything. done with Sermon. I'm done. All right. So See, here's the th- here, in. here's the thing, right? <sighs> yes. Look at this. It, it's not even the freaking can't see the hole. His pass protection was trash. Trash. Yeah, he's he's probably he's worse than Jamichael Hasty in pass protection. Sermon RB1. Sorry, Sermon. Sorry, Sermon. Sorry, Sermon. <laughs> he's he's worse. Ser- Sermon, you're not good at pass protection. And I know that's not you, but I'm just gonna tell it. But listen, he he he's not as good. And this was the reason why I think Kyle Shanahan didn't want Sermon last year. Because that pass protection is what Elijah Mitchell super surpassed him in. You get what I'm saying? And right so, that. and and that was what it was. And so, I, maybe it's just not something he's good. In. And maybe you know that's why he's not given the opportunities. No block, no rock. Yeah, uh, look, Katie. Uh, but has Sermon had enough opportunities? No, he he's hasn't. Gotten over six carries each of the last two games. Yeah, I think this is like his more, last game. This is the last game. Yeah, but you're 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 saying all right. So Jordan's getting what ten? Oh, TDP's getting the bulk of the carries, right? Ten plus Mason's probably getting almost nine. He didn't get any carries until the end of the game, and the reason why he kept getting carries is because he kept getting first downs. They kept chewing the clock. You can't John. chew the clock if you can't get a John. first down. If John. you get stuffed on third and John. two, you get John. stuffed in fourth and one. John, you can't factor in the fact that he was playing against like. Pop Warner kids. Switch them then. Switch them. Switch them. That's what. And well, this week, yeah. This, switch them. We got a we got a whole first half, bro. And the Texans came out and said they're playing their starters. They better. 